Hi, I'm Dan from Real Mac Software and today I'm going to give you a quick overview of Squash for Mac. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to launch the app. And there it is, nice simple uh, window, all ready to drop our images onto. Um, now this is a fresh launch uh, and it's just as if you had downloaded the demo. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a JPEG here and just drop it onto the app. Uh, Squash will do its thing with the default settings and you see we've managed to squash 9.8 megs out of that um, if we open the original file the original file 16.4 meg um, we'll go ahead and save this now there's two ways you can save this with the default settings one I can press save image and pick a location to save it but the other way which is really handy um, and a little bit of a hidden feature is you can just drag from the button so I can take this and drop it anywhere I want so there we go, uh, and let's see, and that's just 6.6 .6 megs. Um, now if I open those two, oh, if I open those two images up in Quick Look, um, I can zoom in, and I can see no noticeable difference there between the two images, um, which is pretty nifty. Now. Um, I'm going to trash that because we don't need that anymore because I'm going to go and do some more compressing. Um, you can configure how we save images uh, in this little uh, settings button here. Uh, so you can set things like JPEG quality. We found 80% is pretty good. You can obviously compress it more, uh, but you will uh, start to have artifacts appearing or more noticeable artifacts, um, probably as you get down to 60% or so. Um, but you can play around with that and, and see what works for you. Uh, now this this is one of the interesting things. Now you'll notice when I dragged that image out before we add, added this suffix onto the file, so you could you know you can put anything you want in here uh, and just change that. You, we can also overwrite the file back to the original location. So if I put that option on, it's not going to ask us to save it. It'll just do it. So now uh, if I drag this over. It'll go ahead, do the squashing, and it's done it. Uh, and it's replaced the file right here, so you'll notice it's down to 6.6 .6 megs. Now, the reason we didn't do this as a default setting is, you know, some people might test out the app and then you've accidentally overrode your original file. However, if you do ever do that, we added a handy little feature where we move the original file to the trash. Um, so. You know, if you do make a mistake, then you can just bring back the original file and you've lost nothing. Uh, so that's kind of a handy feature and something to remember if you accidentally, uh, if you accidentally compress your, your original file. So it's pretty nifty. Um, the other option is we can always pick to save to a set location. So I'm going to pick that folder there on the desktop, compress photos, uh, and now when I drop something on there, it'll go through, do its thing, and I can compress photos, and there it is. So that's pretty handy if you always, uh, if you just want to drag and drop stuff onto the icon and have your images always appear in a, in a certain place, like a compressed folder. Um, Squash can also handle multiple files, so there we've got a load of nature photos. Um, I can just drag these onto the app, and you'll notice it's just going through them all. Uh, it's managed to save 82 megs, which is pretty good, um, and all the files are in our location that we told it to be in. Um, one of the other things that Squash can always do um, is to compress PSDs or TIFF files or RAW files into JPEGs, which is kind of handy. Because uh, if I wanted to send this Photoshop document to a client, 9.1 megs, um, I don't want to send that over email and they might not be able to view it. Uh, so rather than opening Photoshop and doing export for web and you know getting out of Photoshop as a JPEG to send via email, I can just drop it onto Squash. Squash will compress that for me. And there it is. And that is 1.3 megs. Uh, 
so that's you know and that and that's a pretty big photoshop file so that's so that'd be nice just to send to a client very easy uh saved a lot of time rather than opening waiting for photoshop to open doing all that stuff um and that's pretty much it um you can also obviously switch off the interface sounds um we've got png compression options this i leave this on it will compress the pngs more but it is a little bit slower uh, but you know, I'm generally not in too much of a hurry when I'm squashing PNG, so you can, you know, you can let squash do its thing. Um, yeah, so that's it. So that's a quick tour of uh, squash. I hope you found it useful. Um, and if you have any questions about squash, you can always hit us up on Twitter, which is at RealMax Software, um, or drop us an email, which is support at RealMaxSoftware.com. All right, thanks for watching. Cheers, bye.